Hi, I'm Mark Tross. This is the New Mexico Minute. Today we're talking about urban terrorists. Black Jack Christian and his High Fives gang usually rob trains and stages. However, in 1896, Black Jack and another member of his gang returned to Sapar, west of Deming, the scene of the gang's very first robbery only three months before, and robbed again, this time holding up the entire population and taking everything available. They started at the telegraph station, robbing the two men there, then marched them to the boarding house where they robbed all the boarders. Adding this group to the parade, they marched everyone to the J.D. Weems store. Inside the store were eight armed cowboys and Colonel Robert Milliken, the postmaster. After disarming the cowboys, they stole merchandise, $100, whiskey, some tobacco and some cigars, then added these men to their line of march. Having gathered the entire population of Sapar, they walked them two miles out of town, stood them in a line, and asked if they thought one Winchester bullet would go through the bodies of all of them, told them to stand still, bid them farewell, and then mounted the horses they had hidden and rode off, completing what they may be the only time an entire New Mexico town fell victim to hold up men.